more vulnerable when they shop online or in brick and mortar stores? It really depends. And, and the reason is that the, the brick and mortar retailers have become a bit more secure because they've been using chip and whatever cards. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to be chip and pin, it's chip and signature, in some cases it's chip, in many cases it's still swipe. But the problem is that as the chip and whatever cards have made retailing somewhat more secure, the hackers have just moved online. So while card present fraud has dropped, card not present fraud, which is really online shopping, has increased dramatically. And that's because whatever you think you're protecting yourself with these chip and pin cards or whatever, is that online, you still have to give them all the information that would have been in that uh, magnetic stripe in the back of your card that you swipe. So the more information you give, the more potentially exposed you are. Well, and it was different because in the old days it was I'm leaving my, my receipt on the table and anyone can pick up that card or they've taken it to the back kitchen to swipe it and copy it. Correct. Um, and now online, back to the massive hacks of Target and Yahoo and whatever other ma major swipes there are. Um, are there different, are you aware of different online people that are more vulnerable than others? I think the problem is that everybody is vulnerable and almost every major retailer has suffered some form of breach or hack over the past few years. So, so. it really doesn't matter because, you know, when even the targets can be, or, or Home Depot can be hacked, then basically anyone can. That, you have to so, assume, right. breaches have become the right. third certainty in life. This is just a reality. Right. And that's why transactional monitoring is so important when you're notified by your bank or your credit card company of activity that occurs in your account you can look because the biggest problem why this has been so successful is that hackers sell stolen credit and debit cards through the black market the the, the deep web the dark web and they're sold by zip code and the reason why is to evade bank tracking systems where they notify you that there's been strange activity in your account. But if you have transactional monitoring, that means that anytime there's activity in your account, you're notified. The bank may say, well, it's the same place that you normally shop, but you'll say, well, maybe it is, and maybe it's the ATM machine around the corner, but I wasn't there yesterday. When you say they sell it by zip code, they sell it because you know, Beverly Hills 90210 is a desirable zip code, so they're selling. No, it's not about the desirability right. of the zip code. It's what is the relationship between the zip code and the victim? And where the transaction is and the victim. So, so where the transaction right. is and the zip code. So what they're trying to determine is if this is normally where you shop, where you live, where you work, and the bank or the credit card company is used to seeing charges, their systems are by you in these places, they won't sense anything out of the ordinary unless the amount of the charge is significantly larger or it's in some place that you have never really shopped before. But they may miss it. But if you're looking at that activity, you will see something that doesn't look right, and then you need to say something. So the bottom line, know we're safe, and you have to monitor. Diligence is, is your best friend. Diligence is your only friend at this point. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ed. You can get Adam's book, Swiped, at BottomLineStore.com. And do that social thing because this information is so important. And as Adam said, we're all in this together. So share this video. Let your friends know about Adam's good work. And again, come to our site.